In this video, we will talk about natural language processing. Natural language processing or NLP is the ability for machines to interpret and analyze forms of human communication such as text and speech. NLP aims to mimic human communication by teaching machines to read, write, speak and listen by providing it with many examples of communication data, either labeled or unlabeled, where it discovers patterns and learns to classify on its own. NLP is used in technologies such as Google Autocomplete, virtual assistants, language translators, and news recommendation services which recommend new news articles based on what we have read in the past. As humans, we use language as a way to communicate by transmitting and receiving information. We communicate in many different ways, including through reading, such as news articles, signboards, writing, text messages, reviews, speaking to a friend or a personal assistant, listening to songs and presenters. We can communicate even in multiple languages and sign languages. Communication is not just about outgoing information, it also includes receiving and interpreting information. When we receive information, we are also consciously or unconsciously making meaning and interpreting what the message is about. There are many different types of text and audio data that is available to analyze or use for NLP projects. This includes text from documents, messages from social media posts, emails, reviews written by consumers, conversations between humans or humans using chatbots on computers. NLP algorithms can be used to understand human communication in a number of different ways for a different purposes. Some includes emotion analysis to understand emotions expressed in language through the association of words with particular emotions such as joy, fear and anger. Grouping data within content by themes or topics to see what emerges as key ideas, among many other interesting applications. NLP can involve supervised and unsupervised learning techniques. In this example, we describe the process of solving a significant NLP problem. With the surge of digital technologies, uh, social media and internet, online bullying has become a prevalent social problem. Due to the vast amount of online data generated from various activities like messaging, social media interactions, online forums, it is challenging for humans to recognize bullying contents and respond to them quickly. If we want to teach a computer to recognize these contents, we can develop NLP algorithms. Firstly, a human attaches a label to each text content as a bullying content or non-bullying content. In our table here, we have some examples in each category. Next, we perform feature extraction. We extract common attributes in the bullying content category such as use of negative words such as hate, angry, ugly, pronouns uh, such as you, he, and common attributes in the non-bullying content category 
such as use of positive words such as happy, love and neutral words such as dinner, weather. The next process involves training the NLP algorithm based on our labels and features. This is done by providing the machine with lots and lots of text examples that include labels and features data. Finally, we test whether the machine will correctly label a new text we provide. If we feed it with new text, our machine will look at the features and label it into either bullying or non-bullying category. Once trained, our machine will be able to quickly analyze and identify bullying content of potentially thousands of millions of examples. This is a great way to assist humans in identifying online bullying content immediately and to take actions before it becomes harmful to individuals and society. Virtual assistants such as Siri, Google Assistant, Alexa or Cortana use NLP in terms of interpreting speech via commands and questions we ask the devices as well as in the way they figure out how to locate the information we need and how to respond. Spam detection is another everyday example where NLP is applied to identify and filter messages that contain spam texts. It does this by identifying keywords and metadata associated with harmful messages and filtering those so we don't see them in our inbox. Researchers use NLP to investigate large amounts of qualitative data. In our computer science education research group, we use NLP to analyze large amount of text data generated from student activities such as discussion forums, teamwork communication, to identify students' emotions such as confusion, emerging themes, or topics in the discussions Text data that is in the thousands is something far too large to manually process by a human. This enables us to scale our analysis as well as be more efficient. A final interesting example of NLP blended with computer vision is the development of apps for vision impaired people. A user can hold up their phone to an object or text and the app will tell the user what it sees such as crossing or road work or it will read out text found on a sign or on a menu. These kinds of developments show how AI can be used to make our world more accessible and friendly.